feel like there's got to be a trick to get into that locked door, but maybe it's later. Well, there's another door that requires a key. There's more dorm rooms. Ah! A lot of enemies. We have the bee gum and the snoopers. Under snoops. Snoopers. Not really worth it for me to go forward. Easier to just wait. Ow. <sighs> ah. But I've noticed in general, for the most part, I've seen far less gum on sidewalks or out and about. You know what I mean? Yeah. I wonder what the reasoning for it is. Maybe it's just not common out here. Well, I actually think it's because I haven't really seen much for commercials for gum anymore. We haven't seen much for commercials, though. No, that's true. I, I do actually wonder how certain industries have been influenced with the lack of their presence online. How they relied so much on television ads and how those ads don't really exist anymore. Mm -hmm. Or at least only older people might still watch traditional yeah. television. Well, I mean, I can tell you right now there's a lot of like medicine and buy gold ads that show on a lot of television still aimed at old people. Uh, yeah, definitely those. Get your special edition silver coin. Things like that. Mail order stuff. Yep. Can't spit out gum with masks. What I, is gum even made out of? Well, I don't know if it's actually made out of guar gum, maybe? You know how they have that as a thickening agent in some things? Maybe. I guess I always got kind of grossed out by it because... It's something that you couldn't swallow, so... Yeah, it doesn't really decay. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's made out of actual rubber. Is ew, it? ew, no. I doubt it. That would taste terrible. Resin wax and elastomer. I need writ uh, writing scratch in the back of the cupboard. Resin? Nope, not this one. Really? Resin? I can't imagine chewing Sorry, resin. Sorry, not this one either. The hallway doors may seem a jest, though they are but another test. The true path will come in sight if you go left, right, left, and right. Left, right, left, and right? So do we have to start? Where, From where do you go left, right, left, and right? Uh, not sure. Also, I'm gonna do a, a bit of a cheat. What are you doing? Victory option. Bam. What's... What, wait, oh, so that you just don't have to do battles anymore? If I don't want to. So, like, if I want to refight anything, I can just be like, delete! Why are we leaving? I wanted to test it. Oh, left, right... Aha. Aha! You fools! BAM! Instant victory. Oof. Hell yeah. Really? Okay. I, I suppose they are just mook minions that... Yeah. If I've already fought it before, I might just do that occasionally. I think we've already seen that one. Mm hmm That's about the pil the cushions mm -hmm. in the couch. He was just glittering. I just, you know, if we've already fought the guys before, eh. I don't know. I'm just in, like, maximum lazy mode on this series. I think it's because the story interests me more than the actual battles. Uh, are Aha. you ever going to go to that chest? There you go.
I also just do not like these things. Wait, they leave traps, but you can't see the traps after they've deposited yeah. them? I have to just kind of remember. The unfortunate part is, one of them, uh, it put the trap down in the part that I was kind of... Oh, it's okay. Yeah, wax softens the gum, and elastomer has the flexibility. Weird and also gross. Mm. Mm hmm. Maybe it's also kind of one of those that this year. Well, actually, I think the answer is uh, as far as like my disinterest in the battle sy system. It's not that it's necessarily bad. It's just that I don't really feel like I'm doing much different. I always just buff myself, and. Then I hit them, or sometimes well, I don't buff myself. Well, it's one of those myself. things where is the outcome the same? Pretty much. So. And especially with turn-based combat. I don't know. There it's are certain games where turn-based com combat I'm super down for. A lot of other games where I'm just kind of like, eh. Okay, so left... Right, left. Oh, the true path has opened. Is this it? That's Safina's room over there. Yeah, another cat. Oh, look! There's a heart on that door. Is it some kind of seal? Which door? On the far left. That's Safina's room, isn't it? Oh, you're right. I'm just seeing... There's two doors that we haven't been in yet. This one, which is blocked by books, and then the one downstairs. Oh, well. Huh. This... What is this thing in my way? Hmm. It's a barrier. There's something strange about it. It's shaped like a heart? Well, there's that. Barriers are usually meant to keep friend uh, fiends and ordinaries out. But this one won't let even us pass. Huh? Fiends and ordinaries? Nice to be lumped together into that category. Ah, uh, so I'm so sorry. I I didn't mean. Uh, don't worry, Nell. I know you meant nothing by it. So, this is Safina's doing. Yeah, yeah. It it looks like her work. Hmm. There was a time I wanted to go to magic school. The day she turned 13, the raven came to Safina. She was so excited. Oh, okay, so instead of owls, they have ravens. Mm -hmm. She was a natural magician. But I had no talent, not a pinch of magic in me. So when I turned 13, the raven never came, of course. At first, I hoped I was just a late bloomer and that my time would come. But that was wishful thinking. You're either a witch or an ordinary. It took me years to get over it. It's kind of embarrassing. <sighs> I guess I was right after all. I am a late bloomer. Really late. What was that? Ice? Well, we're trapped. This is glass. Oh, cat? A kitten? Wait, the kitten is behind this? 
Ketten. The glass cat? What is this thing? This cat? Why does it want to kill us? Don't know. Or, or, this is a, a white kitten. I wonder if it's that very cross girl who's been transformed into a cat and she has glass magic. Could be. Ouch. What was her name? Cerecia or something? Something like that. Seems a bit odd to murder the first people that might be able to help you. Because it would explain why the cat would attack you if it thinks that you're Safina. For the record, I think we actually will have to grind soon. Because mm -hmm. that took off half of our health in one shot. Could be wrong. Hey, thank you, Prygeal, for the 100 bits. We are getting wrecked by a cat. Whoa. What is it? The kitten used It was like a weird fraction? status effect thing. Luckily, we are immune to status effects because of instant grates. Ah. Uh, so I suppose if you failed at those, then you would get have yeah, a higher likelihood. Yeah, it would probably hurt of... our defense. Mm -hmm. Really has it out for merit, though. Uh, that's. Yeah, I you might be right. I, I mean, I might I, be. I Who do knows? remember in the uh, the promo image for this. There's a wizard, or there's a witch trapped in a mirror. Interesting. At least I think that's that was the case. Hmm. Mirror could be affiliated with glass. Is there a game that PETA would approve of? Uh, well, the Rampage. Interest I don't know. I a game where you it doesn't involve combat, especially fighting animals. Oh, uh, Tokyo Jungle. There you go. What about Tokyo Jungle? No animals are in it? Uh, no, you only play as animals. Humans are all dead. Ah. Uh, but aren't the animals fighting each other? Yeah, but that's normal for animals. Oh, see, look, it's that face again. The, there was a skull. The skull face. That Ceresia made that same face. Mm. Okay. Well, that just happened. I've n never seen a cat use magic before. It seemed really familiar. Yep. So we can't get into Saf's room. What's our plan B? We... I think we should try to find Rook. You and Saf's friend? The book nerd. Y yeah he's here for the summer too and he's really smart unlike me he'll probably be helpful hmm sounds like a plan to me where's his room if we go through that door it's on the ground floor all right let's go Oh, who's sleeping? Or what is sleeping? What are those things? Murder it. What are they? They look hideous. Great Grump is hangry. The Great Grump is angry. Hangry. Hangry? Did it say that? Yep. What are... What? Look at me. <laughs> the Grump. The grump. Great Grump is hangry. It just looks like... Legs and a torso with a face on the torso. Though, I swear, 
there are creatures in Greek mythology that look like that, where they don't have heads. They just have the faces on the torsos. Y yeah. I just don't remember their name. The hell and is what that is thing? that? I don't know. It dies last, I guess. Well, it so did. are these guarding the rooms or what? Hmm. Didn't do anything. It looks like a really sleepy. Oh, oh no. you've made it angry. I like how he is, even has the eye twitch and it's dead. So we don't know what its name is. Well, it's dead. Oh, there's something shiny by the fireplace. A rare gem. They're called... Akafaloi? Oh, is... What? I think the... The creatures that I had mentioned. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The Greek ones. That was like, in this? The Akafaloi? Huh. Okay, now there's two of these. We need to discover what they are. But first, I will burn them. Okay. And I want to know how these things invaded. Are they behind the school closing down in the first place, or was it something else? Okay, they're angry now. Sleepy. sleepy. Wait, wait, why are they... Oh, as in, like, sleepy. They're sleepy, but what w would they be sweepers of some sort? I... They could be monsters in the employ of... The witches, maybe they were intended to sweep the floors? Maybe. Are we I don't just know. killing the janitors? They're kind of adorable, but now they're dead. Mm hmm. Oh. Whoa. Oh, you're fighting more. The great rump. The great grump is hangry. <laughs> so, if you were to create a magic school, yes, what would be some key features that you would have? Uh, it's inescapable. Inescapable. Everyone is there for life. <laughs> Tuition is real expensive. What? Wonder no. Uh, let's see. The headmaster is Mumbledore. <laughs> you only get a good grade if you can understand him, and no one can understand him, which is why it's inescapable. <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, it. I just find it interesting when we see media where there's magical schools and I mean just schools in general where they tend to have all of the posters are uh -huh. enchanted knockoffs of standard motivational posters but they're all kind of not great mm. like so instead of like you can do it it's you can't do it <laughs> but it's still like it still looks motivational and just isn't Well, you probably he just ate the other dude. Oh, is does he regain health that yeah, way? Yeah, he healed a little bit. He looked happy for a second there. And now I mean, he is it dead. Was, it was hangry. It was.
Uh, let's see. Would love a series that modernizes magic with technology. Not sure where to look. Yeah, I've never heard of any any stories really pulling that off well. I think part of it is like it was what a, I, an extension of our discussion the other time about how. In a, it depends on how ubiquitous the magic it is, but if there's too much magic, then the need for technology diminishes. diminishes yeah. Yeah. I I I feel like the way to do it oh. is to have magic tech. Yeah, like you kind need, of. You need tech or special well, stuff to make magic. The problem is like if if a society had magic, it would develop completely differently from how our society would. If that makes mm -hmm. sense. That, like, you're probably not going to have combustion engines in the same way that we do. Because why? And also, our messaging would probably be different. Yeah, I feel like it would be difficult for the internet to become a thing in a magical universe. I would almost imagine people entering some kind of dream state where they have a a plane for people to communicate in other ways. I don't know. That'd be weird. Yeah, it would be weird. I totally agree, though, with that sentiment of, like, more modern magic would be interesting. Well, then you get those weird stories where it's the modern times and, you know, kid discovers that they possess magic and that there's a secret society yeah. living in the shadow of humanity. Which, like, that sort of thing is fun. It's just not the same. Mm-hmm. Because then it's just kind of like, it's a bonus. It's not really any different. It's not really any different from, you know, kid discovers they have superpowers. You know, it's like, okay, in this version, the superpower is magic, but... Mm-hmm. It is here. Unfortunately, she can't heal herself with her healing spell, which is ah, kind of frustrating. Interesting. Yeah. Hey, but she leveled up. New spell. Poison! That's Probably concerning. damage over time. Yeah. Ooh, what is that? There's oh, finally a light for the whole area. Yep. How do you get to that? Oh. Give it a poke. And you found... Wait. Something stinks in here. Rancid, rancid, rancid fruit. Rancid fruit. Ew. Ew. Oh? Wait, there's something else. Heavy earrings. The rancid fruit might be left behind by... whomever had resided in that room and then the lockdown occurred so it rotted ah it was interesting my middle school had houses but we never really they never really made it fun mm -hmm. in the way that things like Harry Potter did you know what I mean mm -hmm. it was just House A, House oh, B, and You know, my middle House school C. had something like that, too. There was, like, gold class, silver class, or something to that extent. Really? Yeah. You see, for I us... I only vaguely remember it, because I was only there for a bit. Hmm. Yeah, you see, for my middle school, the houses, they determined what parts of the school you used, and then what teachers you cycled between. Yeah, same. So... I had some friends who were in House A and House C who had completely different teachers from me. I would very rarely have classes with them, and the only times I'd ever see them would be in extracurriculars. Um, uh, what would they call them? Just... What would, what would 
art and music and other things be considered? Because they're not the core classes. Arts, generally. Just, eh. Yeah, so I would see them in those. And then also for lunch. But yeah, it, it was interesting. And I think they might have some fundraisers or there were things that the houses would compete in, but it wasn't too, too often. And I forget if we had a color associated with each one. I don't know if they ever really stuck with it. I think one was yellow, one was blue, and one was red. But I don't remember. I was a bee. I was a house bee. Which meant that I very rarely used the old building. There was an old half of the middle school and there was a new half of the middle school. And the older half of the middle school was almost always arts and house C. And then the main building had most of the academics for house A and B. Though I think I used the second floor more than the first floor. Like house B was mostly second floor, whereas house yeah. A was mostly first. You know what I'm getting at? I'm a little lost. I'm only paying half attention. <laughs> but I was just thinking that, I don't know, maybe they should have had some more team spirit with the houses. I guess. Yeah, it was definitely that one was blue, I, one I was I feel like red, Harry Potter made yellow. it sound exciting, but I feel like that would just lead to it's kind bad of, divisions it's, for dumb reasons. It's kind of like factions in things like World of Warcraft and such, mm -hmm. where it's almost as though you're creating teams. Even though everyone's a member of the same school or the same world, they're being pitted against each other for one thing or another. This is it. Oh, there's the little ghost. Being a ghost isn't all, all that easy, I tell you. The things students get up to when they think no one's watching. Ah! <laughs> ah! Ah! That ghost. Hard nut. Mm. Oh. That's what that is. I guess I'll go back to the cat. So was he really just a merchant? Yeah. Okay. Then what's through that door? Rook's room. It's dark. Ah, is he sitting in a chair? Wait, no, who is this? Not Rook. She... She's dressed in all black. Huh. Oh, visitors. <laughs> it's about time. <laughs> oh! It is my lucky day. G Gilda, what are you doing sitting here in the dark? Where's Rook? Huh? R Rook? She's stalking him. Mm-hmm. You've only got the person to what well, one person to worry about right now, Nell. And that's me. Gilda, what are you talking about? Oh no, you wouldn't believe it! I've always... Oh, my magic's always been so weak, right? Fizzling out, blowing up in my face, everyone laughs at me. But then, I heard this loud crack and felt a huge surge of energy. Wait, that's like... And then, something happened. Something? Magnificent! What was that? L -l -l lightning? <laughs> oh! Isn't it just so me? 
Yelta? H how did you get such p a power? That's not important right now. What's important is this lovely new friend you've brought here. <laughs> she looks tough. Is she tough? This is Merit. She's Safina's sister. Yeah, she's really strong. We're actually looking for her. Uh, Safina has a hot sister? Oh! We must duel! We d don't want to fight you, Gilda. Uh, what? Hmm. Yes, you will. Because if you can beat me, I'll tell you what happened to Safina. You, you know? <laughs> when you make up your mind, you know where to find me, cutie. I don't know if she's a lesbian or... She I guess it really depends on her reaction to Rook, because she blushed when we mentioned Rook. I mean, she could be buying. Yeah. Maybe she's just aggressive. <laughs> In all manners. For all genders. The, oh, hey. the twirls and everything were fun. She was just really ecstatic about having electricity as a new ability. Oh, hell yeah. But she said, she said that her powers were weak before? Normally weak, yeah. So, that's interesting. It's it's almost as though people who had never had access to magic or very little access to magic suddenly have been gifted with these on-command abilities that yeah. other magicians or witches never really had access to. I hope you're ready, because it's showtime. What is, it like to be more than so is this supposed to be her singing? Maybe, yeah. Well, this is kind of fun. I think this was one of the trailer songs. It, maybe. More poison. Muses exposition. <laughs> oh, this is getting good! Let me see how you can handle this! <laughs> poison! Poison, poison, poison! <laughs> <Just> throws up! <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh, no! <laughs> Booty spanking and... What is going on? We got spanked at. How'd you feel if I did that? I would I would not like that at all. How would you feel if I would smack my booty and little pink hearts would fly out? <laughs> and then you felt slow. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind if you smack your own butt in front of me. Yeah. It's just... You don't I, like it when I smack your butt. I've had bad experiences with people smacking my butt. What? Back at conventions. Oh. Yeah. I was... When I was wearing my Samus suits, the one unfortunate thing about fusion suit Samus is that it, there isn't as much armor as the other Samus suits. I also made the dark suit, but... That one was really, really armored. 
but I I had a like a spandex booty and I, I don't think any strangers smacked me but a couple of the cosplay troop girls did and I was I was a little miffed ah why am I not winning I'm doing so terribly I'm better than this Blech. Blech. just starts throwing up Why are you not winning? Because I'm a damn dirty cheater and I don't want to do work right now. Really, I just... If I'm doing reflex tests, I might as well play Bloodborne. Huh. I wonder if they're going to do some kind of Bloodborne update for the PS5. I would love that. Hmm. Defeated Gilda. The achievement is her spanking herself. Oh, she's angry. What? What? Hey, Safina thinks she's so great. She's never lost a duel, but I defeated her. I'm the first. She doesn't get to look down on me anymore. Saf was pretty beat up. That's when Headmistress Eldra showed up. She was furious at Safina about something. The headmistress took her away, but I don't know where to. Ah. Ah, I'll see you again. And next time, I'll win. Bye, mid-boss. Ah, she's so cute. Well, at least we finally learned something. Hey, Shell. Yeah? How does it feel to hit on yourself? <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm just portraying the two I characters. I know. I'm just sitting here <laughs> listening to you call yourself cute. It's just like, I agree. But I don't it's know. Amusing. It, we're never going to play them, but if we had ever played a dating sim and there are characters hitting on each other and some of them are, you know bisexual or lesbian and whatnot, then yeah, maybe you'll hear me <laughs> say more, I suppose, but you you don't play those games anyway, dating nope. sims, so. Well, at least we've, oh wait, I already said this, go on. Uh, but we still don't know where Safina is. We need to go get into Saf's room. I have a feeling that whatever, whatever's there will lead us to her. If only we could find Rook. 